In this demo, I will demonstrate how to view a recording and export that recording. First, I will start by having the camera selected in my main view. I'll go to camera and player mode. First, I'd like to talk about this uh, arrow pointing up here. This will allow us to see um, the histogram and all the tools for viewing and exporting. I'm going to continue to click until it uh, is in the downward position. Here we can see we had some events happen right here. Put my mouse there and I'll zoom in by clicking the plus arrow, plus button. That looks good. Uh, let's see what happens here. Cars. I don't know if you can see this, but this circle here will allow us to determine the speed. Here I'm moving step by step. See the car moving backward, forward. I could at this point take a, a snapshot. And there it is, right to my desktop. But I think this is where I want to record some video. I'll back up a little. Here we go. One too many clicks. On this bar right here, I'll just highlight the area I want to export. I'll hit the export button. And here are my times. It says it's from 10.13 to 10.16 a.m. on the 18th. I can edit these values by clicking. Putting my cursor in there. And changing. But you know what? That looks good to me. So I'm going to click export as an AVI. Give it a meaningful name and click save. Our exports complete. Let's take a look. There they are. Cars. You can see the time and date stamp that Robotics uh, embeds into the video. If I wanted to zoom in on that image, let's back up a little. There we go. Keep in mind this is a fisheye camera so the zooming capabilities are not as great as they could be. Using my mouse to scroll in. I'll highlight that area again. Export it. And I want to make sure that this apply image post processing is included is enabled. Otherwise, we won't get the zooming I just did. Okay, our video is done. Let's 
take a look. That's not it. I clicked the wrong thing. You can tell by the way it's kind of grainy. This is the zoomed in image. Where's, where's the car? There we go. So now the image has been zoomed in a bit. In fact, as much as this lens will allow me. And at this point, too, zoomed in, I could take another picture. There's the unzoomed and the zoomed. And I think that's enough to get you started looking at what's been recorded and exporting it.